Hey, and welcome back to another Milo Max Media video. Uh, today, we're going to go over something that I've gotten a lot of requests for from friends and, and family and, and uh, you guys is uh, exactly how do you do the lip syncing in Moho Studio Pro? Now, it's something that I had to uh, get help with myself. But I figure there's a scarcity of videos out there that show it quick and easy instead of watching these hour long things. So I'm going to show you right now how I do it. Basically, your lip syncing will be as detailed as the mouths you make. If you go in to make as many mouth shapes as possible to fit all, a lot of different sounds, obviously with a little bit of extra, with a lot of work, you'll be able to have it lip synced almost perfectly. I say almost because it's not always gonna turn out perfect. But um, yeah, so let's just start it up and uh, go right into the video and I'll show you exactly what I do, how I do it, and you can get an idea, number one, of how you can do it yourself if you, this is what you wanna do. And number two, why videos can take so long if you're just one person working on everything. I do all the rigging, I do all the drawing, I do all the animating, all the editing, all the sound effect, everything. But uh, lip syncing is very, very time consuming, especially if you're someone who you wanna get it as good as you can. So let's just jump in that video and uh, check it out right now. Okay, so now we're in the video. You can see the timeline at the bottom. That's got all the audio files. Um, we're gonna go with my little warrior there in blue, Kalis. So let's let's show you real quick about the bones. So you select the bone manipulation. You click those blue bones, and you can move each piece around. That's another video. I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. This one is for the lip syncing. So let's go right here open it up and what you want to do is in the head you make a switch layer you go up to the top here you click the little plus symbol you select switch it makes a switch folder you put all the mouths into the switch layer and then what happens is you right click the switch layer folder at the top and whatever piece you want to show click on it so you put you make the different mouths that you want and you put them under a folder that's a switch layer so here's the here's some of the mouths that I have they're not comprehensive in any way but this is what I'm kind of starting out with L's is E's or O's Oz a frown you can use for a lot of different ones smile and then neutral, which is where I usually keep it. Let's show you here. The neutral is what's highlighted. It shows on the guy that's neutral. I'll click here. Now it's the E. Now that's lit up and that's what's showing. Back to neutral so we can start the animation. So now you can see in the timeline there, that, show, that white line shows all of your mouth uh, lip syncing lines there. You can drag them, move them around, delete them, whatever. I don't know about all that, but it looks like it'll be even safer. So you start Maybe off with just can... the first bit, the first clip. There's a, there's a pause in there, so we're just going to work with the first clip. Top this right here just to show you, we're going to work with just the first audio clip because it'll be long enough to, to deal with. But what you want to do is you play it through first, you listen to it, you figure out where things gotta, where you think things gotta go, where you can kinda hear it. And then what you start doing is as you go through, you just select the frame and then go from one syllable to the next. Don't try and get every single word. It's gonna, it's very tedious. You need a lot more mouth selections than what I have. So let's just get back into it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know a. See, so we start out there, it's I don't know, so I don't know. Don't. So it's the I E. No. Don't. No. And then it's gonna be about. 
Uh, I used a frown for the B's and M's and N's. B for about. Another O. A. Ah. Uh, that. And then t, that works as a T sound, ending on a T, back to neutral. So let's play it back. I don't know about all that. And then obviously you save it so you don't lose all the work you just did. Because it's a lot of work for just one little clip. And there you have it. That's how you do the lip syncing on here. But basically, the whole point here is to show you how quick and easy you can do it. You make up as detailed... Uh, mouthpieces as you want and as you need it's really really easy it's not as daunting as I originally thought it would be obviously the more different mouth shapes you make the more detailed they are the more detailed your lip sync animation is gonna be I went with seven uh, different mouths you can go for more. I plan to just uh, redo my entire mouth system to make it a little bit better because I've gotten used to the system. As you get used to it, it, it clicks, but it's time consuming. You saw how long it took just to do that one little clip. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Click the share button. If anybody wants to know how to do this, this is your video. Also, um, come back. I'll be doing more. If you have any suggestions that you want to see next, let me know. I'll put that into another video because I think that it's important to have tutorials like this because I don't have any. I had to figure it out all on the fly. So, see you later.